All right, all right, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to the Blackburn Rovers Football Manager 2020 Road to Glory series. Be sure to leave a like on the video if you've been enjoying this and want to see more. And we have continued the form ever so barely. You take a, a few two ones, you can see there. So, yeah, after coming off the previous episode, you know the result against Liverpool was very annoying. That late goal, I feel we could have avoided that and had another win. But after that, we went on to play against Bournemouth in the EFL Cup, the Carabao Cup. We were able to get the victory there. And something really funny, Jude Bellingham, in two saves of mine, he's gone from Birmingham to Bournemouth. Obviously, he's made his move to Dortmund in real life. That's a big move for him. So, uh, yeah, I just find that interesting. In the other save, I've been doing, like, the journeyman. Yeah, he made that move. And funnily enough, when I got the Birmingham job, I was at, <laughs> yeah, after that, I went to Bournemouth. But, well, not directly. But, yeah, it was just the facts. That was very interesting. And, yeah, I managed both teams in that save. <laughs> I thought it, uh, yeah, interesting to point out. If you want to watch that save, make sure you go follow me on Twitch as it is one I stream or the yeah save I'm streaming. And then, unfortunately, we couldn't beat Norwich. So everything is not going, like, perfect. I wouldn't say we're getting perfect results. <laughs> so I just want to, can we see the Premier League where Norwich are sitting? Norwich are sixth. So there's some shocks like, look, Man City's in 10th. This is after 13 games, so it's not even just, like, early season full. Like, you know, like, the first few games, yeah, teams might be in positions they wouldn't be. But it's after 13. It's after 13 and 9 wins for us. Man City, you expect to keep pushing up. So we're trying to fight for the title, but we can't allow to drop off at any point in time. And you see after that, Villarreal, Europa League... 2-1, that was real close, Bradley Dak came up right at the end, and we dominated that, like, look, look at that, that shows you our current form, really, games like this, where we have 28 shots, majority of possession, absolute killing, and still, guys, we needed a late winner, so regardless, all of that dominance, like, the stats, yeah, that's going right up until that goal right there, we weren't actually winning. Like, yeah, that was amazing to say. Like, they got an equaliser in the second half. Um, obviously, we scored on 46 minute. They scored on 51st. But, like, it needed this from that. Look at that mazy run. That was messy like <laughs> Just the way he moved. And whew, to come on and do that, that was really, really important for the yeah, group stage. That would have been, you know, that would have been a draw right there. If he didn't score, it would have been okay. I'll show you the group stage in a minute. <laughs> but I guess you can see off the results. Bournemouth, yeah, we got a 2-1 against them. It's look 2-1. That seems to be a result we get against them. Uh, Fedor Charlov, he scored two early goals and really put us yeah, in a good position. He's been smashing in goals. I told, didn't I say, he'd find his feet. he find his feet this season. Funnily enough, Eddie... He hasn't wasted any time himself. He scored nine in the league, uh, about 12 in, in total. So if we go back and just see that last game we just played, Burnley 2-0 away from home. Two late goals. We were struggling to find, yeah, we were struggling to find the breakthrough there. Again, we control possession, as you can see, 58%, 16 shots in total, six on target. But again, Chalov, Bring him on. Armstrong has been telling me he's been wanting to play, but unfortunately, he didn't really do too much. We had to bring on Charlo because, yeah, we just... Uh, I wasn't liking what Armstrong was doing there. I just could tell... Yeah, I could sense he wasn't getting the goals. So, <laughs> yeah, maybe because he's been a bit unhappy. See, look, 6.4 rating. He yeah, needed to make a change. We did, and then we went out there to get the result. So, anyway, now we cover the Europa League. So, it's interesting We've already qualified, but we have control of, well, it depends what Malmo do as well against Villarreal. Villarreal, they can't make it. But yeah, this game is not as important for us, but it's more so, there's still two more games in the group stage as well. So technically, yeah, it, it, who knows? Who knows? There's two more games to be played out. So we're going to, we're going to see how that goes. Obviously we've got Malmo FF next. Well, the following, yeah, the following Champions League game. 
well, Europa League. Sorry, I'm so I'm so used to saying Champions League. So sorry if I say Champions League instead of Europa League. <laughs> I'm in Champions League more often than not <laughs> versus Europa League. So yeah, it's interesting. And then we'll build up against Tottenham. I thought that would be the best balance of two games in this episode, uh, as because Wolves are 16th in the Premier League, that will probably be a win. Crystal Palace as well. Ninth, they're actually not doing too bad, but they're obviously a few after. Uh, and we already played quite a few games off camera, so we're going to go in to play these couple today. So yeah, it's more so a bigger, it's a bigger game from their point of view. Um, that Karabag again, I'm not sure how to say their name, but yeah, it's it's for them, so it's up to us to prevent them. So it's still going to be a tricky game for how they're going to approach it at least. So we're going to take a look again. How f how long is that Tottenham game? Is three days later? Even Tottenham's in twelve in 12th so yeah they're not doing that great but I want to keep uh we'll rest Mane with Niambe on a yellow card I don't think he's worth playing in these in these last couple so unless he gets a yellow card <laughs> I'm almost wanting him to get a yellow card in this game so he just misses the next one when it's not important and not the knockout stage hmm yeah I don't know if you guys would do the same or not <laughs> I'm like hmm that's a good decision uh Marco we drop out Brereton, see, yeah, this is feel, yeah, we can rest Eddie, let's give Connolly some game time, Eddie, Charlov, I reckon we drop Eddie completely, bring Brereton on the bench, so if we're winning, we'll bring him on, Charlov if we need a goal, Dak ahead of Jones, this is where we get match sharpness, match sharpness into our players, uh, Lewis Travis, he's just missing uh, right now through his injury, Rothwell, no, he won't get a go. He won't get a go there, Jones. Actually, yeah, unless we might bring him on. Probably won't need Jones today. So we're going to bring on Rothwell there. So that's probably a good balance. Bell, uh, guys, I don't know why Bell is doing better than Rahman. Play Rahman here, maybe playing in some form. But I, I, can't even, I can't even speak as to why as we just change a bit of a role here. There we go. It's depending who we're playing in DM. As Mendy, you know, is more preferred at DM. Um, and, and when we would play Marco there, it would be deep line playmaker. We change our meter to Mazala. So you get a feel of, of the changes we are making. So if we put Connolly there, yeah, he'll be the pressing forward. So, because, yeah, got that selected for him. You just have to switch the sides. So let's just go into it right now. So as we said, from their point of view, is going to be really interesting. And, yeah, thanks to all you guys that are watching this series, because I'm personally really enjoying the the save myself we're seeing some very good progression let's go let's go get it though keep our oh yeah carry where you finished the last match always like to say that so let's see what they're going to provide uh are they going to bring it to us are they going to challenge us they they beat us here it's not as i said it's not going to impact our position but it's their position it's their position. I guess Villa... No, yeah, Villarreal, if they win, yeah, they still a chance. Oh, it could go down for that... Till the final game for that second spot. It's going to be really interesting. All right. Oh, Connolly goes really close. So, they're going to be feeling like... This is a home game for them, you can tell by the crowd. Wait, do they have, like, lockdown coronavirus, maybe? Or do they have no fucking fans? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, gosh. There's no one in the crowd. Oh, there they are. There they are. But no, nah, there's definitely some isolation. There's definitely... We've got the coronavirus pack on. Totally. We've got the COVID pack. <laughs> They're... Yeah, scarce. No, they don't want to sit next to each other. Okay. Oh, they're getting it through here, though. Oh, they're playing actually really well. Oh, they really want it. But look, like there's no fans behind the goals or anything to get part. This is their home game best believe it what oh my god did you see how they play just passing it around smooth oh we tried a trick pass there i think and and rally on the half volley like that was like barca that's a carabasa back i don't know how to add the name into that sometimes works but anyway we're killing i reckon we just need to take it to him i reckon we need to take it we'll go attacking We'll go that much shorter, yeah, much shorter tempo and much higher. No, yeah, sorry, much shorter passing, much higher tempo, you get it. Yeah, and go like this, our same kind of settings, play out of defense. Yeah, keep that, keep that up and throw long. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave majority of that. But yeah, we just need to step it up a bit, I reckon. Ste show some passion as well. Steven, he's actually not a bad player. I've heard of him before. 
of at least I've seen his name around. It doesn't mean he's a good player. I think notable, yeah, because he was yeah in MLS. I've just heard, and when he was back at Valencia, yeah, that's when he might have been a bit better rated. Yeah, when he was in La Liga. So yeah, I've definitely seen his name around before. That was probably when. So here we go. Let's step it up. Step it up, Dak. Armstrong, yeah, as I said, he said he wanted to play a lot more because we've got that, yeah, two starting strikers. He's been that impact sub, but he wants to be starting. So here we go, Andre. He's been impressive. He's so nice in midfield, on the ball, controlling, and now Baba. No, ah, oh, Dak, you got to score that. It's, I don't. Why do they clap after they just uh, <laughs> to the crowd? Yeah, when there's no crowd, barely. And here we go, Nyambe. Now, but as I said, we won't be too disappointed if he gets a yellow card today. Adam Armstrong. Army is showing why he wants to play. We've got two big strikers now, uh, as we just touched on. And, yeah, he's he's still very good. The thing is, he's got superb pace. So, for me, he's a ideal candidate as that super sub, you feel? So, so, there we go. A great finish for Armstrong. Let's keep it up right now. As there's an airplane going over my house. Sounds like pretty close. <laughs> probably uh, picks up in the microphone but anyway let's keep going let's keep going it shows you we're flying right now we're flying right now you just got to pass it you just got to pass it oh it's gonna work it's gonna work there we go adam armstrong it was a two minute double salvo that i told those chain yeah i knew what to do there but i don't want to get too excited about it because we're much better than this team but it shows you exactly what we needed to do baba did he take the shot? I don't know. We got lucky. Cheers, Wagner. Wagner. Wagner is too good. Look, there's no one in the crowd. <laughs> there's no one in the crowd. Well, barely. Like, when you see it in that view, when you see it in that view there, we'll say don't get complacent. Keep some focus. Yeah, Armstrong with the two goals. He's a team leader as well. 1,000... Oh, my God. 1,700? 1,700 people that... <laughs> okay, where are they? There's a few hundred, if anything. <laughs> Seriously, where's this 1,700? Wow. I would say barely half of that. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. And yeah, let's... Oh, we're 2-1, it's tough. Yeah, let's take off Tavara and go Segre. We've done it a few times, you'll notice that chain. Segre's that stronger player. Yeah, I bring in a bit more... I always click on him when I say that, but just to explain it, like, yeah, seven, 17 stamina, but 14 strength, like, in his tackling, yeah, compared, it's only 12, but compared to Tavara, yeah, he's that, yeah, a bit more, a bit more stronger body and defensive prowess about him, maybe we'll take off, my, oh, no, we don't have a cent, or we can push Nyambe over to that side, and we'll bring on Mane over on the right, Nyambe, what's his best role, mm, probably just a central defender, uh, two stoppers now. Nah, we'll just use him as a defend duty. And we won't make all subs. Maybe we'll save it. We'll wait till 75th minute or 80. Come on. Let's just say get creative because we would need another. See, I reckon for their quality of player, they, they've they done well. They've set up in the group stage tactically very well to get some results in the Europa League. <laughs> Again, just like, I keep saying Europa League in case I said Champions League once. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we don't. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. After this highlight, we'll make a change, I reckon. Depending what it is. Depending what it is here. Baba. Baba. Oh, compose Segre. While showing not just a defense, more a better defensive in midfield, a defensive option in midfield. Well, he was enjoying it. Bubba, he was, like, moving his arms there. Oh, yeah. Segre, that was a flawless strike. That's exactly how you want it. Yeah, Baba Rahman. He did so well. Brought the defense. Yeah, got him away and created that space. Oh, I love how we have that set up to do that. We do that a few times, really. So, yeah, we'll make that change. Or oh, Almeida, don't want him to get injured. Let's bring on Roth. He's not going to have a great rating there. He's going to be decent. We can play him. Yeah, probably Mazala will be okay. He'll be okay. And we've got that 3-1 lead now. Bit, a bit strong. They've only had one shot on target for the day. 
So you see how Europa League, the group stage for us is setting up. Go on, go on. Oh, Armstrong. Oh, no way. You should have got that, lads. And it really would have been over Nambe as well. And not just that, guys. Man, we could have really finished off the game if he got that goal today. Jalzinho. Don't let him through. There's still some late hope. Oh, my God. Medvedev. Medvedev. <laughs> Medvedev. Medvedev. There you go. Oh, my God. Let's drop back to balance, maybe. It's very late in the game. But there we go. So how about that? Armstrong, yeah, he got two goals. He could have had a hat trick. Yeah, they got a late strike there. Didn't change the result at the end of the day. So 3-2. 3-2, good performance today in the Europa League. And we even more so seal top position, just to make it look ever so clear. Yeah, if we go view the group right there, take a look at that. Villarreal, you had your chance, Villarreal. But you just could they couldn't. They drew in this one. Yeah, in this game here, they drew. That was that was very terrible by them. So Malmo, they beat them. Yeah, beat them last time. See, yeah, you can see what we got last time was a 3 0 uh, against that team. That was at home. So, yeah, maybe make sense away. But anyway, with one more game, Villa, okay. No, they can't. Because, yeah, someone has to get a point out of that game. There can't be zero points. Wait, sorry, sorry, yeah. Who's who's the next fixture? We're playing against Malmo. No, no, it is possible. Okay, hold on. There's so much information in the Europa League here. So against Malmo, say if we, we beat them and Villarreal beat Carabao. It might depend, yeah, like the goal difference... Are Villarreal still have a chance, yeah? It's a bit in our hands as well. We have to beat Malmo. Ah, oh, it's really interesting. <laughs> I wouldn't be... Like, you almost could say Villarreal are in a good position. <laughs> it's weird to say that, but yeah, to, to win their game, and if we win ours... Ah, oh, it's a madness. Mad things happening right now. So then it's only three days until Tottenham game. <sighs> see, that's what I mean, guys. You might see all these wins... How much of them are slim? Like, like look at that. 2-1, 2-1. Norwich, it was a 1-1. No win there. Bournemouth, 1-1. One, one. Oh, sorry, 2-1. One. 1-1 one, one was Liverpool. Villarreal, we had a good game. 1-1 one, one, Brentford. Slim win against Man City. Whew. Just getting by around this October, November period. See, look here. Brentford against Norwich. It's home, Brentford. Whew. They're in the Premier League. <laughs> there you go. Oh, it's a draw. Okay, Malin. Malin is a nice player. How's he rated? I've seen him around, but how's he? He's nice. It's Norwich. See, a save when Norwich can spend 66 million. Oh, wow. Just wow. That, he's a pacey finisher. He's clinical. You would say that's huge money for Norwich to spend, but hey, he's someone that can, can improve them in the save and get them into Europe. Of this form right now, if they get, yeah, top seven, yeah, they would be in Europe. And just taking a look at the training, I criticised Corey Evan a little bit, uh, but Jack Butlin, right at the top, will praise him. He stays perfect. But Tavera, he trains so well. The actual long shots are 18. Oh, when he gets the ball at his feet, like some of his mentals aren't the best, to be fair. But oh, when he gets the ball at his feet, like his passing, you put the passing with the technique and vision, those ties together. Like for me, I've, I remember saying it before, I think I would have been talking about it in a previous episode. Vision just groups with the, all those attributes, basically. Like with the technique, passing, first touch to be creative. So that's like yet another 17. Like one of those, like 17 or high or 16 or high if we count corners first touch. But oh, he's one of the best technical players in FM when you think about it that way. And that's not overstating it, really. I think he's a rare player for my save. Have you seen anyone else use him? I don't know. I just feel he is very rare. He's a shiny. <laughs> Let's go. Not to forget, he has the long shots trait as well. So as we move on here... Yeah, okay. Nothing too... Nothing too important. I do wonder. I don't want him to waste chances. He, he shouldn't have shoot less often. But you can't. Unavailable for the... Hmm. That, that's annoying. I don't think... 
well, yeah, you say, well, just put a different role for him. Yeah, I can't do anything about that, unfortunately. The role he plays as a playmaker. But he's great creatively as well. <laughs> yeah, that's tough. What would you guys suggest? Because, I, yeah, I don't want to take away from his playmaking efforts. But anyway, let's go in against Tottenham. They're 13th. How's their form sitting? Well, they start... They've got, you know, they got two wins first two games, which makes their form look horrendous. Tottenham are very, very poor in FM20. I'm not going to lie. Look, Joachim Lowe took over. Joachim Lowe. Oh, obviously, he was Germany, Germany manager for years. Like, he's, he's the one you see. Yeah, you see him as the Germany head coach. Head, head manager, and just like, wow, you got to give him time to turn around, like how long has he been in the job, oh yeah, no, that's enough time, Jose couldn't get it done, Where it, now he, he's still unemployed, nah, you won't be able to get him as a coach, he's like, no, I'm Jose, I'm no one's assistant, but this is actually a great time to get them, or are they due to turn it around, so maybe not a good time to get it, I don't know, nah, but they, all right, all right, what are we going to do here, what are we going to do here, Rothwell, drop out, Jones, oh, Jones is going to come back, guys, I'm a Curtis Jones fan, Curtis Jones, (laughs) plural, and yeah, I, I, I just like what he does, He's a he's a very nice player. Just every time in the highlights, he does something with the ball. You know, his rating is not the best in the team, but it's not the worst. Seven point zero six for sure. See, Tavares is just on that six point nine eight. As I said, Sag- Segre might be a bit more balanced. He's a bit more of a balanced midfielder. But Tavares, yeah, they're different types. That's what I like. Then Almeida, for me, he's still got a bit of growth. Hmm. When those 15s move up to 16s, I'll be like, oh my God, look how good he is. But it's just, so that's really close to that. <laughs> just because how the attribute, yeah, color changes or the background of it. So Charlo, yep. Ahead of Connolly, Armstrong. Eddie's going to come back in. Armstrong, the bench. Uh, ahead of Connolly, I guess. you got Burton. Burton, yeah, he probably doesn't have a future at the club. But at, yeah, 6.5. We haven't played him too much. So probably Connolly, I prefer there. Bell, go, I don't know. He's just playing better than Rahman. Look, 7.39. Insane for a defender. Like, obviously, the strikers smashing in goals, their ratings boost. 7.39. He's absolutely killing it. Drop Lenahan out or bring in, yeah, big Eric. Eric and Murato actually playing real well together. Murato, I'm, I'm rating his signing, really. Bargain basement for a wonder kid. 1.4 mil. Ridiculous. He's li- still listed as a wonder kid. Media description. I feel he's another low key one as well that you may have not seen. Like he's just in Benfica, so he should be known. You know, they're not that low, but yeah, maybe he goes under the radar a little bit. Yeah, a couple players that I've signed in this save haven't seen mentioned too much. Even Almeida as well. So yeah, happy with these guys we brought in. So taking a look at everyone else. Yeah, Marco. I always take a look. There's someone probably going to be missing. Segre on a yellow, but we need him on the bench. Uh, what are we going to do here? I know what we're going to do. We're going to take off Mane there. Marco, he's going to make there for Mendy. And then Mane will be starting ahead of Niambe. Then Niambo make the bench ahead of Rahman. Yeah, right back and center back. So it covers two defensive positions. If we're absolutely desperate, like if we get like a an injury to Bell. But yeah, I like a defender. Just playing one defender. And if it's a defender that can play fullback or center back, that's generally my liking. Then Mane, we're going to change him to support. Balance that with Bell on attack. Yeah, I like this. And then Gruich, okay, again. There we go. Deep playing playmaker on the supporting role. Then Almeida will go on a Mazala. There we go. I like that. And actually, can we test this? What if Tavara... Wait, no. He's got that role, like, saved. <laughs> saved. We're going to leave it like that. We've been doing well. I was going to change him to Mazala. I'm not sure. Maybe could, then you could have him take more shots, change that instruction. But don't mess with things, what's working. Because regardless of a player's long shots... Even if they're good, they're not going to smash them in every single time. You know how they are in it, FM. So I'm going to say, I expect nothing but a win from this match. There, we're oh my god, we come all, we come a big ways from a championship club. Not even that long ago now. We're just season three in, and we're taking control. We're demanding. We're loving it. 
we're, we're taking demand, we're taking control of the Premier League, you know, not, not like top of the league or anything, we're pushing it, we really are, but like we're consolidating, that's it, we're consolidating a position. Oh, here we go, that was a ball in from Tavara as well, and Charlov almost scores right there, very, very close, very, very close there. Oh, they're going a lot of possession. So, nah, it's not hard. Not our day for possession. I can, I'm, I'm reactive early. Reactive early. Take or be more disciplined and we'll go a direct game. Slightly more direct with a lower tempo. And the width, we're going to go we're gonna go narrow and then change those wider. Play out of defense off. Yeah, I, I just know... Like, I can sense. I can sense what's not working. Or well, basically, when we're not getting possession. When we're not getting possession... We need to change up our ways. And they get a corner here. They get a corner. And now to hit him on the counter. Yep. Yeah, this is the style we'll need. Charlov. Charlov. Scrappy, but good defending there. They were able to block that. So it's, it's going to be a tight one. We'll say demand more as well. Yeah, it's not going to be a game that will have possession. But it could be because, yeah, Tottenham style. Yeah, long, but yeah, come on, come on, come on. That should have been a goal and me to celebrate about my tactical prowess. Oh, Curtis Jones, as soon as I... Pre uh, guys, do you know what would be cool to warn a player? If someone's made mistakes, say, yeah, shaping up or something. I guess you can do that via a shout. So, yeah. But is... What would you do? What would you say to him? We've got to be careful right now, though. It's a tight one. It's a tight one. Come on, tackle. Oh, look... How many tackles? We made two there. Three. Three. Great defensive work. And eventually, we're going to, you know, create an attack. You would like to think. Oh, nice ball. I told you. Almeida. Yeah, Andre Almeida. Finds him. Finds him. He oh, they oh. FM, we better not lose this game. I tell you, like, these, like, these chances we had. We had a couple. We had two. Two good chances. I'd like to think we at least put away one, then one from the corner. That's three. I'm going to put down as three clear-cut chances. And, yep, FM does as well. We better not lose it from here. We... No, 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 no. <laughs> Surely not. Surely not. Come on, guys. Assertively. Keep playing the way... Yeah, that should be... Like, to me, that's the... Ca that's how this game is playing out. Yes. I'm glad. The players relate to that <laughs> and react well to it specifically come on come on. keep going out there i don't I, I don't think we should change anything right here i'm not going to listen to myself out it's just we need to go attacking we're playing at home up the tempo now we'll go a much higher tempo actually be more expressive and we'll go with that with wider <laughs> with the there we go you get it Overlaps. We'll try some overlaps. La, yeah, look at the stats. Stats. Come, oh, yes. Tavara with his free kick. Oh, that fiery ball. That fiery ball. Come on, Jones. Come on, Jonesy. You got... Yeah, win it back, lad. Set. Oh, yes. Yes, you know a player is good if he does that in Football Manager and doesn't blast away and waste a chance. I told you early... Curtis Jones, he's you had a poor game, apparently, making errors. He won the ball back there so well. And look at the composure there. Oh, to Charlov, he loves him. He loved even more than me that he didn't blast a shot there. Ooh, Alex Collado, I've seen his name before. Yeah, he was at Barca, wasn't he? He's, he's okay. He's versatile, though, won't lie. There we go. There we go. Let's see. Almeida. Let's take Almeida off. Again, for Segre. We love that change. The strong... See, he can play. Maza now boxed, he'll go into a box-to-box. -box and maybe now we can put Tavara into a Mazala. And even here, we can do shoot more often. At this point in time, we want to play with the possession. You probably, you probably should be playing with the possession. But <laughs> I want to see him take a strike. I'm not going to lie. That's what I want to see. And then Gruch, yeah, we can put him on defend. Yeah, we can put Marco on defend there. Uh, Curtis Jones. Oh, now we'll take him off. 
We'll take him off there. And actually, Tavaro may not play too much more. Let's bring on Dak. Let's bring on Dak here. There we go. It's 1 0. 1 0. Let's hold on to it right now. Or get another goal would be absolutely perfect. Show our dominance for today. Come on, whip this in, Mane. So it's not going to be directly from a throw. And it's almost. He took a corner. He took a corner in open play. Oh, how often do you see? That was right on the... <laughs> that's mad. That's mad. Oh, wow. No, sorry. That, I just think that's funny. It was The ball was literally on the corner position. <laughs> Craziness. Uh, Eddie. Oh, nah. So we're not going to see too much of that long shot action, to be fair. Let's bring on Mendy right here. And then he can play... Ooh, we go two DMs. We'll go two DMs on just to make sure of it at this point. At the moment, Mendy... Yeah, he can be the DM, and Marco... Ooh, I actually like the mix of that with the deep playing playmaker on support. Yeah, I like that. I like the shape. There we go. We'll just go full bat, or no, a wing back on defend for Bell. There we go. There we go. And let's just drop to balance now. Would suit with our positioning in the formation. But it's having feels of the Liverpool game where I feel I made responsible changes. It could be a like a death note or a death wish. Death note. <laughs> what did I... S <sighs> what do I do? What do I do? I make logical changes. I make... What's the point of being a smart manager? What's the point of being a smart manager, Khan? Seriously. And I know people... There's some people that always tell me that you go more defensive, you can seek. I know, but I'm just trying to be logical. It doesn't work clearly, does it, FM? But it's annoying. It's annoying because I'm probably, yeah, I'll get the same messages. They'll tell me, don't go defensive, you can... <laughs> I know, man. But it's logical. Fuck. That should have been three points. Okay, yes. Okay, we'll say this first so it doesn't ruin it. There we are. Don't go defensive because you can see. I know. I know. But, like, it shouldn't be like that. We stay unbeaten, okay. I want to... Oh, that's happened twice, that against Liverpool. We could be top of league, football manager. It's because we are. Or we would be. You don't like logical to changes, do you? Sharpen up. Sharpen up, mate. You're a fucking blunt pencil. You need to sharpen up. I'll see you guys next time.